Hi, this is Joseph Klein of Cruising Yachts, and today I'll be going over a few of the differences between the Sun Odyssey and the Sun Odyssey Dex Long Lines of Genoa Sailboats. The two models we will be using for this comparison today are the 2015 Genoa 44 Dexalon and the 2015 Genoa 469 Sun Odyssey. Now, just at first glance, you can see a few differences. Uh, the most notable being the cabin top. As you can see, the 44 Dexalon here uh, has much larger windows, a raised cabin top, whereas the Sun Odyssey has a more sleeker and lower cabin top. Now, let's go back and check out a few more of the differences. As we walk back, just looking at eye level, you can see that the 44 Dexalon has a much higher profile, uh, and this is in a shorter vessel. Looking through the windows, we can actually see the windows of the 469, and you can see that they are a smaller profile window. Now as we walk around back, you will see another one of the major differences. Coming around, the 44 Dexalon has a higher cockpit uh, that you walk up these two steps to get to. Uh, we also have this um, smaller swim step area. Now let's take a stroll over and see how the Sun Odyssey is. Now this Sun Odyssey 469 over here, as you can see, has a drop down uh, swim step here much lower uh, cockpit. So compare the sitting height of the 44 Dexalon and the seating height of the Sun Odyssey 469. Now as you can see that 44 Dexalon has a higher raised cabin top. However you are sitting higher so you get better visibility around it. The 469 you're sitting lower however you also have a lower cabin top so you also have great visibility. Let's go inside and check out a few more of the differences. I'm inside the Genoa Sun Odyssey 469, and with that lower cabin top, you may imagine that you get less headroom. However, I am just a little under six foot tall, and as you can see, there is plenty of headroom throughout. Let me go through and show you a little bit of the reasons why. The Sun Odyssey line may have a shorter cabin top and smaller windows. However, as you can see, still a great amount of light is being let in. Now, with that lowered cabin top, what they do is have the, uh, the boat just about flat throughout. So as you can see, completely one level all the way throughout the 469. Now this goes all the way throughout the Sun Odyssey line. So throughout, you're gonna have one flat single level. One other thing to note is that with that lower cockpit, you do have a slightly lower, uh, you know, headroom, though the headroom starts, you know, looking down at where the ground, you know, where the actual floor ends, headroom is great all the way throughout. In the sleeping area, you do have slightly less headroom. However, you do get a lower cockpit that is easier to access from the dock and, you know, that nice walk-on transom. Well, I hope you enjoyed walking through the Sun Odyssey. Let's go over and take a look at the Dexalon. Well, we're now down below on the Genoa Sun Odyssey Dexalon, the 44 Dexalon. And as you can see, again, great headroom. Now, what you might notice is that we do have these larger windows. Let me give you a little bit of a better look at those. So standing down below on the 44 Dexalon, I'm looking out at eye level. And as you can see, the, the windows are just at eye level. So what they do in the 44 deck salon is they raise up the center salon area. So as we look down, you'll see there are steps to the forward and aft sections of the deck salon model. But what they've done is raise up that center salon area, the deck salon. And as you can see, by raising up the area and giving you these larger windows, by looking out at eye level, you're given a much more expansive view of the outside. One advantage to this, this layout here is that it gives you that, you know, that very open outside feeling. You know, just looking around, you really do feel as though you are not, uh, you know, confined by this vessel. 
the forward B berth section is very similar to the Sun Odyssey line. Looking back, let me show you a little bit of the difference when you go aft. This model does have the master aft stateroom as opposed to the dual uh, stateroom that we saw on the Sun Odyssey line. However, looking you can see that that raised cockpit, uh, you know again, two steps to get up versus the single step. However, you do get a lot of headroom back here. So let me flip the camera around and just show you. I'm now in the aft cabin of the Dexalon model and I am sitting up and as you can see, there's a little bit more headroom back here versus the Sun Odyssey line. So again, that trade-off is you have a higher cockpit to walk up to in the Dexalon model. However, you do gain more room back here. Now we are comparing the uh, single uh, stateroom aft versus a two aft cabin boat. However, you can still get an idea of the headroom difference. Well, I hope you enjoyed uh, seeing some of the differences between the Juno Sun Odyssey and the Sun Odyssey Dexalon models. If you'd like to see any more comparisons or you have any questions, feel free to comment on the video. Uh, send me an email at josephk at cruisingyachts.net or call me at any time. My number is 619-253-7903. Well, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you.